the Arizona Cardinals haven't tipped their hand about what they're going to do with the first overall pick. And if Josh Rosen is still on the roster come draft night, we might not know for certain what they're going to do until Roger Goodell reads their card. The Heisman Trophy winner would give new coach Cliff Kingsbury a much needed catalyst to start his offense in year one. Right now, the big question for the New York Giants is how committed they are to finding Eli Manning's eventual successor. General Manager Dave Gettleman has talked about wanting to win while rebuilding, so it's hard to tell exactly what his plans will be. But even though the Giants have two first-round picks after trading Odell Beckham to the Browns, it wouldn't be a stunner to see him bypass the likes of Dwayne Haskins and Drew Locke to build up the defense. The Dolphins traded away Ryan Tannehill this offseason, and at some point they're going to have to make an investment at the position. Unless they're really bowled over by someone who falls to them, it might make more sense to build along the lines and wait until next year to draft a quarterback. The Steelers might be in a little bit of a bind if they stay at number 20 overall. Right now their base need is inside linebacker, but the two clear-cut options in the first round might be off the board by the time their pick comes up. It's possible they could draft a cornerback or even a wide receiver to help fill the void left by Antonio Brown's departure. But remember that the Steelers were responsible for maybe the biggest surprise of the first round last year when they drafted safety Terrell Edmonds, so another off-the-radar pick is possible. With the last pick in the first round, it's likely that Iowa tight ends TJ Hawkinson and Noah Fant will be off the board by the time New England picks. While it's a good bet that the Patriots will invest in a tight end and maybe a big-bodied wide receiver early in the draft, that might not necessarily be with their first round pick. New England also needs to replenish its defense, and Belichick likely won't be boxed in by short-term needs. 